today I'm making a pen plot. It's a pen plot that I'm going to take a photo of so I can put it in a blog post so I can then explain a little bit about my artistic process. But I think it may be about how I always make things harder for myself. Foundation is a platform for artists to sell NFTs and NFTs are mainly digital. Selling digital stuff is great because you create the digital artwork and then you upload the artwork, you sell the artwork, the buyer buys the artwork and then they can display it digitally. With physical, you have, well, all this physical stuff. But I've spent half my life working with digital and for some reason I always end up coming back to the physical side of it. And that's kind of the balance that I like between the physical and the digital. The digital is kind of like the engineering part of my brain that works with code and the physical is more the artistic side. But I'm noticing there's kind of a separation between them and I'm trying to break that down. So what do I mean? So what I'm talking about is when I say digital is kind of like this perfect digital where you have all the smooth curves and it follows exactly the code that you've told it. Meanwhile, you have these uh, gleasy, gleasy, greasy. It is normally said as Giclay, Giclay. Our Giclay prints, which are about as close as you can get for perfect a representation of your physical work but in a physical medium here they're on archival paper with archival quality ink. Meanwhile here we've got um, this is where we've taken the digital file put it onto acetate and then convert it into a screen that we can then screen print so a, a very physical process and we start to get these little imperfections in here that it turns out I really love because they're unpredictable I haven't put them into my code, they're occurring through the natural process. So these are the cardboard backing boards that I normally package stuff with, rather than anything fancy. Uh, a couple of paper versions here, but more about these um, later. Let's get back to the pen plots. There we have two pen plots, that one and this one. So this is the engineer version of my brain, that even though I've put all these small little breaks in, I want the whole design to fill the page. So my code is making sure all the lines are here, all the way up to the top. And when I'm designing the code, this looks good to me. But when I'm plotting it, halfway through or quarter of the way through the plot, my artistic brain kind of goes, I like this in its incomplete fashion with all these gaps in here. And this is stuff that I can't code. So that's kind of my two pen plots done. These are for a blog post where I'm going to be writing about how I feel about engineering versus artistic versus digital versus print. And I know that they're all connected, but it's also for these over here where I'm talking about um, print versus digital and my feeling for it. So anyway, that was today's task was to get these two pen plots done. I've done them. I thought I'll make a video at the same time because it's kind of fun. And that's it. Bye. Bye.